Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kidd. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And we're back. It's been a while, but thank you for waiting. Um, we're doing a new thing. We're trying it out, see if you guys like it. Uh, it's called Celebrity Battle Domes. And basically what it is, is we pit two celebrities against each other, and in the Battle Dome, they gain all the power, knowledge, and experiences from all their past previous roles. Um, and we see who is the stronger, I guess, human being <laughs> after all this. So for our first matchup, we have Wesley Snipes versus Robert Pattinson. I remember his name. <laughs> yeah. Look. Okay. Look. We we're not big Twilight fans. I forgot his name three times <laughs> in the in the seconds before recording this video. Yeah, and he's gonna forget it during the video. Probably. Also, so it's okay. But uh, yeah. So obviously the ones that come to mind are uh, Wesley Snipes' role as Blade, mm -hmm. and uh, you know Twilight. <laughs> yeah, so so you know Wesley Snipes is and is uh, an offshoot of an actual vampire. Notice how I got her name in there. Oh, you come. Yep. Um, and uh, Robert Pattinson is a sparkly thing that they call vampires. Now, now we, we we all know that the whole world hates Twilight, but let's try and have no bias here. So let's go over the rundown of powers. Okay. Um, so Blade is very fast, really really strong. Um, knows martial arts and every vampire on the planet's afraid of him even if they outnumber him by 100 to 1 and he has skill in literally i think every weapon known on to the man yeah. yeah and then all of his weapons are tuned to kill vampires however there's a slight problem with that when fighting with, with twilight um, and the, the whole sunlight only makes them sparkle. No, well, well, no. They're, they're, well, there's the fact that Blade is a legit daywalker, and everyone in Twilight is stupid. Uh, <laughs> but uh, one of the things I, I argued about with my sister uh, about one of my big problems with Twilight, because I asked her, I'm like, "Well, are there going to be? Is there going to be a movie with, with like hunters? Because there's always hunters. Mm -hmm. Always. That is the rule. You can't have one without the other." She said, "Oh no, there's no hunters." I'm like, first of all, you're stupid. Second of all," How are the no hunters? Yeah, and she Twilight, said only vampires only, in this universe. Only vampires can, can kill vampires. vampires. Yeah, yeah. Weapons yeah. don't affect them, the, which is which is dumb. Um, and uh, and I think if I'm not mistaken, they have to like choose to die or some crap like that. Or something no, I, like, I, no, I, they, they can be they can be ripped apart by other vampires, but they can't be killed by weapons. Like apparently, holy water doesn't do anything, and crosses don't do anything. So um, let's go over. Well, in Blade, powers, in, in Blade Universe, uh -huh. though, holy water doesn't do anything either. They, they find that stupid. Oh, okay. They're, like, allergic to silver, and they're allergic to garlic, but you throw holy water in their face, and they laugh at you, and yeah, call you no, stupid. No, no, no. And crosses don't bother them So, either. okay, so, like that, uh, Edward's powers, um, he does not, he's not affected by garlic, crosses, holy water, um, apparently not by silver either. Um, he's super fast, uh, as seen, I, I, what? Whatever group of vampires is in Rome or mm -hmm. the Assassin's Creed looking place they were in, um, they were doing flash steps and like breaking stone walls and crap. Um, so he's pretty fast. He's pretty durable. I don't know what his unique vampire power is. I think it might might have been mind reading. Um, but uh, I mean, you don't want to read Blade's mind. Yeah, nah, this is the guy who rolls with the Punisher because he feels like it. So <laughs> yeah. clearly, he ain't all up there. Um, but uh, so, and I think I'm assuming he has super healing as well. Well, all vampire or vampire things right. all heal really fast. So, so that's his setup. Now, that's just their one rolls, the ones that we're all thinking about immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go with a oh, oh, what is his name? Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. <laughs> His other role, um, the only other really, the other role he's ever done that actually would matter in a fight would be his role as the dude who was dating Cho Chang instead of Harry, even though it should have been Harry in the Goblet of Fire. Yeah, the the other wizard whose name we it, also don't remember. Was it Charlie? Uh, no, it was like West or something crap like that. It was, it, was, it was a. I'm thinking Charlie Chapman. I know it's not it. I don't know why I'm thinking or, that. It was like Carl or something. It was whatever. The dude who who should not have been with Cho in the first place. Um, now he, that Robert Pattinson, remember the name. That is actually a threat because a humongous one actually. Because if you give someone with the power like with a wand to fight freaking dragons at age. What, like 17? Uh -huh. um, you put that kind of power in a guy whose body is the same kind of strength and speed as Wesley Snipes as Blade, 
Now you have a problem. Yeah. See, <laughs> now, now before, if like, if like he was either one in this battle, then it wouldn't it wouldn't be too big but a problem. Being both. But he's both. So he's right. got he's got speed that matches blades, and he's got the wand. And so he's able to to, to throw off these spells he, at that speed. And he also probably has access to the three unforgivable curses because all that you had to do was just say about a Cavadra. Uh, Avara Kedavra. Whatever the, the thing, the, the killing curse. Yeah. All they do is say that. Because they never said there's a prereq or a learning. You just could do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, your soul would split in half, but him being a vampire probably doesn't care about his soul at this point. Um, so he, he has the killing spell, we assume. Um, any Harry Potter nerds out there, if we are wrong, I know you're going to call us out. Just well, Wait, 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 wait. Wesley Snipes was the basketball guy and White Man Can't Jump. And therefore, nothing. Therefore, nothing. Wait, um, wait, 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 no, no. But he was also the 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 um, the cop on Passenger Fifty Seven. Nothing. He should have been Black Panther. He really should have been Black Panther. That would have really helped him out right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, those are the only roles of power that really matter. So let's let's. Uh, no, no. He was the bad guy in Demolition Man, who got upgraded and given and given super strength. Which probably doesn't match his blade strength, so it'll give him a little extra enhancer, right? We'll just, it, we'll, it, we'll, it gave we'll him it gave him a little bit more bomb knowledge. Okay, so how let's, about that? Let's yeah. let's, let's start the fight. Um, since you know more about Marvel than I do, I'll let you argue for Blade. And since I want him to lose, and the only way to do that is to make sure I argue for him, I will be Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. If you're watching this. I want to get your name right before I meet you. If I ever do meet you, I'm uh, sorry. You're you're probably a great guy. <laughs> okay, so blade with the super speed, super strength, um, weapons that are attuned to killing vampires. I'm making a real big leap here and saying that he's that he's going to have weapons attuned to killing these vampires also. That's but as there, I'm there's, making there's a big no leap. weapon. I'm making a yeah. big leap because remember he is also a vampire. So he does have the ability to kill these vampires. So let's assume, right, yeah, by 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 their rules. By their rules, he's got the now, ability he, to kill he these. He'd have to do it probably by his bare hands, because that's the only way. I see, or or by some. Well, see, but he doesn't have like any kind of like fire powers or whatever. So it have to be by his bare hands. Mm-hmm. Cause from from what I know, Twilight fans, if I'm wrong, <laughs> I'm sure he'll call us out. Um, but uh, now here's the thing, though. I was at first thinking that his uh, that Blade's battle experience would be because I because mean, he, he fought the King of Vampires right yeah and won right so I was thinking he, his experience would be better but I think Edward's like two hundred years old and yeah I, and I think he's been biting like werewolves and other vampires Blade's like forty right so I think Edward has more um, is it weird that I know Edward's name more than I know the guy who was Edward. <laughs> yeah, well, no, because that was, uh, that when we first started talking about this, I kept calling him Edward Cullen because that's the only thing I remember. Right? Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so so, so um, I, I'm assuming he has more battle experience. Um, now he has the the power to read minds. Um, that might also come in handy because so, having superior life experience and being able to read minds. No, because based on what I know from Ninja Turtles, a martial artist can fight using only his skill without having to think about his moves. Therefore. Reading Blade's mind in the middle of a fight isn't going to do any good because he's re- he's reacting. But he's not thinking. That's the Ninja Turtles uh, thing. I'm applying this to Blade right now because doggone it, I need help. This is a, this is a, this is a wizard vampire versus, <laughs> versus just a regular vampire versus a daywalker, which should give him some kind of advantage, but doesn't in Twilight World it because all not. they do is sparkle. It does, yeah. They're not real vampires; they sparkle. Okay. Anyway, okay. So. Uh, now. We, 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 we know that the strongest thing Edward's ever killed is another vampire. That's not that impressive. What is the strongest thing Blaze ever killed or fought against? Um, the strongest thing? He killed a Wendigo. Well, I mean, like... Wait, the, wait, like the... The Wendigo, yeah, he killed... The one or a one? He killed the Wendigo. Now, that doesn't really say very much, though, because, like, the Hulks killed the Wendigo. Um, Wolverines killed the Wendigo. It can die. It just comes Hulk back to life. Wolverine are pretty... Yeah. Pretty up there, though. Yeah, but I mean, they, it, but I'm saying, you can kill it; it can, it can come back. Right. It's, it's it's. Has he ever fought Juggernaut, Hulk, Wolverine? Uh, nah, he fights like supernatural things. He fights like werewolves and stuff like that. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't come out and fight. I know the Juggernaut. I know I'm a. Uh, I'm technically supporting Edward Cullen here, but um, I'm getting kind of scared that I might win this one. Once he's a, he, he's a wizard vampire. Yeah. Yeah. See. Okay, Blade. 
Wesley Snipes, Kenny God Johnson? bless you. God bless you. I love you. You've never done anything else with power other than Blade. This is going to make this a major, major problem because even by association, you don't know any. Well, okay, no, that's not true. You did a movie once with. Um, no, you can't call help. Uh, yeah, what up? What up? Uh, no, this is. Uh, wait, dude, so does he? Can he not stop? I don't think he, I don't think he can. I mean, when, when you when you match their when you match their their vampire powers against each other, th- let's they're say that, let's ground. say that they're on even ground. But then Blade is a, a better wizard. fighter. He's a wizard, though. He's yeah, a, he's Blade a is a better now. fighter, but he doesn't have a magic wand. Yeah. And without like a magic sword or something, uh, then he's not. He's he doesn't have a chance here. So I guess I win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and our first battle dome. Yeah. Um, which is hurtful, but y- y- this is going to let you guys know that we're going to be honest. We're not fanboys. We're going to... We are fanboys. Well, we're fanboys, but, 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 but we're, we're, not but we're, we're honest fanboys. If if Wesley Snipes and all his characters got in one body and they fought... Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson and all of his characters in one body... <laughs> Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson is coming out on top. And it's mainly because he has the speed and durability to be able to pull off those spells. Mm-hmm. It's that unique. That's a very unique combination that I don't think we'll see on anybody else except for like the gods of Celebrity Battle Dome. Which, be honest, you, you you know who they're gonna be. That's yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> once, once we get up there, you're gonna be like, oh my god, this is gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna be stupid powerful. It's crazy. So that's our first episode. Um, let us know who you want to see fight as a in Celebrity Battle Dome. Uh, just in the comments or send us an email at gmail at offshootcomics at gmail dot com, uh, and we'll we'll talk about it and see if we can do it. But uh, let us know if you like Celebrity Battle Dome and what you want to see happen. Um, Until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer them, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not-so-great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we'll be your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.